Dr. Moore, Uncivilized Vitality, don't forget to like uh, and subscribe to the video before we get started because I always forget that. So we're going to talk about one of the pieces of our uncivilized uh, technology, the salt and needle kit. A salt and needle kit is your um, daily carry or especially out in the woods, anything that you need for personal hygiene or for first aid use. So I've got a couple of, uh, a couple of bags here. I'll show you what I carry around for my salt and needle kit kind of on a daily basis. So we got a couple of bags here. We'll get to this one in a second. Um, I just have them in separate bags in my daily carry. This is my, uh, my Hill People Gear uh, belt pouch. I just carry around in here a lot of daily salt and needle stuff. I got a little packet of RX uh, almond butter for a little snack, a little vial of salt, sea salt. And then in this side, I carry a few things. This is an Exotac uh, rip spool. It's got an actual needle in there. I keep a couple needles in there. Usually I think I've got one in here now because I had one out the other day. So I keep a needle in there and it's got some heavy duty thread and then um, a roll of Gorilla Tape. So I can use that for little boo-boos and first aid or repair my gear. Um, I keep two uh, dude wipes. This is for personal hygiene. Again, if I'm out in the woods and I need to clean up, kind of in an emergency. And then I have a little signal whistle attached to my bags. That's part of my uh, book. It's hard to staying found, but you know, I just keep it in my bag. An elastic hair tie. I use that with my morigami for a lot of different things. And I have two of these little fire starters from uh, Bigfoot Bushcraft. Uh, they're waterproof, windproof. They'll catch a spark at any time. So that's just in my bag. And then here's my little boo-boo kit in here as part of my salt and needle. This is really all the first aid I carry. I've got a spare set of contact lenses. Uh, I've got some eye rinse, some triple antibiotic ointment, iodine wipes, a collection of three or four different band-aids, and uh, three or four tabs of ibuprofen just in case. So that's just kind of a day-to-day. -day. I would augment this maybe with, uh, during allergy season, maybe... Um, if I went up in the woods and the pine pollen was heavy, maybe some Benadryl uh, or any other little thing. But this is just kind of my first aid kit, my salt and needle kit every day. In addition to that, uh, in my Jeep or in my backpack, I keep a March kit. This is part of our salt and needle. This is just going to be a bag that's for actual first aid. So I don't have a lot of band-aids and bandages and gauze and all sorts of uh, doohickeys for a full-blown first aid kit. Uh, just my boo-boo kit. <clears throat> Sometimes I'll throw a tick key in there. And then I have a March bag, uh, M-A-R-C-H, uh, for actual trauma. And we'll go through the contents of that real quick. And it stays pretty simple. I've got three pair of nitro gloves, a pair of trauma shears, two TMT tourniquets, a pressure bandage, a battle bandage, battle wrap to help kind of hold that in place and wrap around. I have an NPA with some lube. Stuck right here in the bottom of my march bag a little bit of tape. I've got a packet of compressed gauze uh, for packing gauze. Uh, Sealox rapid um, hemostatic rapid fold gauze. Z-fold rapid hemostatic gauze okay, for also for wound packing. A couple packs, uh, dual packs of uh, chest seals for entry and exit wounds. So I've got enough to cover entry and exit, entry and exit for two. Uh, and the only other thing we have here is this little folded up mylar blanket uh, to help prevent hypothermia. So this is kind of my salt and needle kit. This would be for actual traumatic first aid, massive hemorrhaging, um, airway. We've got respiration, keep the ventilation of the chest going. We've got circulation and then um, we've got hypothermia prevention. And then I've got the PPE, the trauma shears in case they're needed and a little bit extra tape for uh, could come in handy for a lot of different things. But I don't carry this around on my person all day. I might throw an extra tourniquet in my <clears throat> in my uh, fanny pack or my belt bag when I'm walking around. But normally this is left open for things like um, I keep my cell phone and everything else. I need little extra things there, wallet and cash, uh, phone charger. And then in the front is where my little boo-boo kit goes. So your salt needle kit doesn't have to be as elaborate as this trauma bag. Uh, it could be as simple as just a little salt shaker and some tape and a needle and maybe a few band-aids. So that's the salt needle kit. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and uh, check out the video where we expand on this a little bit when you're going out in the woods. Obviously, I'd throw my toothbrush in my bag and that would be about it. Um, that's it. Make some comments and then uh, go back over the video and enjoy the content.